Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. It's a little bit past 8 o'clock Wednesday morning. This is going to be part 2 of my Wednesday morning beach walk. Overcast skies, 50 degrees now, only going to get up to 72, 73. Now they're saying the clouds are going to start thinning out around 11 o'clock. It started out at 9 o'clock earlier then push back to 10 now it's 11 o'clock low tide here this is the south end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park if you look close you can see the sandbar out there a little bit of a breeze coming out of the north northeast quiet here at the park When the clouds do go away, apparently it's going to be nice sunny skies, but we'll see when that actually happens. Now they say it's going to be clear skies for sunset. Earlier there was going to be partly cloudy for sunset. So it could turn out to be a nice afternoon at the beach. It's a nice morning. Nice brisk morning, great morning for a walk, that's for sure. It's been very quiet here at the beach and on Facebook this morning. bit of sun there peeking out at me. It's just over the rooftop here of the Mariah Bay condo. Just right up in here. Did get a little tiny bit of color in the sky this morning. During our first light, our very early morning colors. Go back and check out this morning's live feed of that later if you want. Well, this is what it's kind of looked like all morning walking up the beach here, walking up Vanderbilt Beach. I'm going to turn around and make my way back down, Vandy. If you want to hang out with me for a while, that's cool. It's nice to be at the beach in the morning. It really doesn't matter about the weather. It's about getting together and just being here as a family, our beach family. nice walk on Marco Island yesterday morning. If you missed that, go back and check that out. Still got one more video from Marco Island to post later today. Just a little walk on the beach with some of those early morning colors. Sands are really soft along here. Got to get a little higher up on the beach. Sinking way down in. Hard. It's harder up here.
wish you were here with me. I wish you could be out here walking the beach with me right now. I think we're going to have a nice weekend here. I think that weather is supposed to be nice this weekend. Very dry here now. We are under some, I don't know if it's phase one of our water restrictions here, but they're going to tighten up the water restrictions, I'm sure, in another couple of weeks. But right now it's just the lawn watering. So be very, very careful when you come down here. Doesn't take much to spark things up. A lot of folks excited about Barefoot Beach Park opening up. Limited parking. All the parking lots aren't open yet, but at least you can get in there and get to the beach, walk down to Wiggins Pass if you want. Just porta potties up there, just like at Del Nor Wiggins. Really no facilities other than porta potties at Barefoot Beach. All their structures were destroyed by Hurricane Ian. We did get a little sun earlier, and pff, well, it's just as I was wrapping up the live feed, part one of my beach walk this morning, the sun was hitting the beach up here, me, 40% sun. That was the most we've seen so far this morning, now it's gone behind the clouds again. We've had that strip of blue sky all morning. There's clouds just hanging above it all morning. that share button. Let's get a couple more people on here before it gets too late. It's 
probably isn't going to be too much of a live feed here. Won't be very long. I just like to give everybody a chance to get on here and say good morning to their beach friends. Check in. So calm in between the sandbar here and the shoreline. I'm guessing there won't be anybody sitting out on the beach in their beach chairs unless they're fishing <laughs> for a few hours now. coming down to see me this winter anybody gonna be down here on our beach in North Naples I'd love to see you I'd love to meet you if I haven't met you already I'd love to meet you and if I have met you I'd love to see you again Tomorrow evening, if the weather prevails and allows, I will be going out for a sunset cruise with Boat Naples. I'll be doing a live feed of that. I think that'll be starting around 4.30 or so. 4.45, somewhere in that, maybe 5 o'clock, probably more around 5-ish. Hopefully we'll have a nice sunset and it won't be too windy out there. It's been breezy the past week. Cloudy, breezy. We've had periods of sun, but more clouds than sun lately. I'm getting over it. <laughs> I'm ready for a sunny day. Oh, those mornings here, those couple of mornings, we get maybe three of them where it drops down into the 30s, low 30s, sometimes dips below freezing here. And those are the mornings uh, that I don't look forward to my beach walk. It's just, when it's windy and cold like that. I hate wearing shoes. <laughs> I like walking barefoot on the beach. 
where that sand gets cold. I'll take the sand over snow though any day, my friends. Sorry about y'all, I got a shovel snow. Good morning, Janet. I've seen her walking the beach for years and years and years and finally the other day when I was walking home from the beach here she was walking just ahead of me walking home and I caught, a, caught up with her and we had a conversation and we got to know each other's names after years of saying good morning to each other on the beach so that was fun I've met a, so many people out here like that. It's like I've, it's just been good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. And it's taken, you know, it's a while before I get to know their names. And then getting to know them and remembering them, that's a whole different story. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Got a lot of folks, a lot of people I see out here. A lot of people I've met over the years, so if I forget your name, if it escapes me when you come up and say hello, please forgive me. Just one of those senior moments. How many of you have had this happen before? You're somewhere and they say and you're filling some forms out or something and they ask you for your phone number and it's like my phone number. Oh crap. What's my phone number? You never call yourself. You just gotta stop and think there for a second, my phone number. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember my old phone number from when I was a kid growing up in Miami like it was yesterday. Nowadays with cell phones, how many of you even know your friends' phone numbers? How many could, of you could recite your friends' phone numbers? Not this boy. Not that you're just in my phone and that's it. Say your name and the phone calls you. Crazy, crazy how much we depend on our devices. Getting scary, this artificial intelligence stuff. Man. Getting scary. The AI technologies. Just going fast. Just kind of makes you think about that movie Terminator. <laughs> Are the machines going to take over? What's going to happen? It's nice to have that technology, but to let it dominate your life and situations, that's not a good thing. you got to use your own brain. You can't let your brain get soft. started this morning for first excuse me first light it was right down here 
this section of Vanderbilt Beach. We're just a little north of La Playa. Oh, what was that? Around 6.40 or so this morning. And there was just enough light to at least get a little video. If the skies are clear, I can get started around 6.30ish. Cloudy a little later, sometimes not until 7 o'clock. It's been so cloudy. breeze kicking up again. Every once in a while it picks up. A little brighter now. A little brighter on the beach. that tide's getting ready to turn. Start coming back in here now. I think low tide was around 8.30 at Wiggins Pass this morning, which is to the north of me, which means it happens sooner down here. If you missed yesterday's beach walk, go back and scroll through some videos and photos here on Facebook or YouTube. Go down a few videos, see Marco Island. Check out the beach at Marco Island. It's been a while since we were down there. A nice early morning walk. I'm getting my low battery warning already. Sometimes I don't realize how long I'm on for here. My battery's always down to only being able to hold 73% of its original charge. It is on its last leg here. and Just the money issue. <laughs> Always a money issue in my life. Bills come first, phone comes last. There's never any money left over these days. Man. You get a little ahead and then pff, something breaks. Hopefully it's not the car. That gets expensive. I forget what it was. I opened up a package of something, something the other day and it's like holy cow some kind of food product. I don't can't remember what it was and it's like man has that shrunk. It looks like I don't know what it was. A baked good or something. It looked like something that came out of 
an easy bake oven. <laughs> it is sad how manufacturers are just cutting back on quantity and, and quality. Quality is getting really bad on a lot of items. To save a buck. But those binomics are working, man. Pay attention to the news. Binomics are really helping us out. God bless that man. Living in a dreamland is what he's doing. See people running around in their swim trunks and bikinis here at La Playa yet this morning. No umbrellas up yet. Got their chairs out though. Got their beach chairs lined up. All right. I gotta wrap it up for this morning. See what happens tomorrow. Never know when I might pop out to the beach for a sunset. Love my sunsets. Just need to arrange for transportation. Thanks for hanging out with me. Those of you that sent a couple stars, thank you. I do appreciate that. We're coming down to the wire here at the end of the month. Those bills are due come Friday. So tips hugely appreciated right now over stars but I'll take what I can get love you guys my star senders my tip senders those of you that subscribe to Southwest Florida Television's Facebook page for 99 a month it all adds up I couldn't be out here without your support like I said before though it's getting kind of scary <laughs> keep my fingers crossed and saying my prayers Make everything come together. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for allowing me into your lives and onto your screens. You all are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends. Tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everyone and everything in your lives. And God bless America. Tally ho, my friends. Tally ho.